It's the name of my presentation, uh, Psalm mm -hmm. 23, because I think that uh, electronic medical records make us pray a lot every time we're considering that decision. And, you know, we're no different. Uh, we, we, we prayed the same way in that um, we were terrified with, with this decision. And, um, you know, we haven't been the same ever since. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the only thing to, to fear is fear itself. Uh, and uh, in terms of electronic medical records, it's not when, um, it's not if you're going to do it. Uh, we all know we are going to eventually do it. Um, and we all know that the current system of paper is just absolutely broken. W one of the things that, um, unfortunately, or fortunately, because I guess I didn't get sued, um, but uh, that unfortunately I discovered through the process of electronic medical records is how bad I used to uh, document and how poorly my notes were and how really my notes were a, um, a, a process by which I convinced myself that I was documenting, but only I could read it sometimes. Uh, and, uh, you know, so, so the whole system has, has in, in that sense, uh, allowed me to document much better and people can actually know what I'm thinking. Um, money is the object uh, in, in, in electronic medical records. Insurance, pay for performance is coming. It's already here. They're just, you know, playing with it in terms of doing chart reviews. But in a couple of years, it's not going to be um, uh, available for those who, who cannot deliver the information uh, electronically. The Medicare and Medicaid withholds are already announced, so you know that if by uh, 2016 you're not fully electronic, you're going to start getting uh, paid less for the same uh, work. And paper pushing is costly. That's the other thing that we have discovered uh, after just a year of using the electronic uh, health record. And like um, uh, Russ said, the uh, stimulus money is time limited, so uh, it has to be done quickly. These are the numbers. Uh, Medicaid providers can get 48,400 um, and Medicaid up to 63,750, especially if you're in an underserved area. That's what gives you the bump up. Uh, and Fortunately or unfortunately, most of Rhode Island is considered an underserved area, believe it or not. We are sitting in an underserved area right now. The certified system situation is very, very important because a lot of people are spending a lot of money on systems that are not uh, CTIT certified, which is um, a national certification exam that software companies have to go through. And people are going to be uh, burned <laughs> when they try to apply for the stimulus money and find out that their system just doesn't cut the mustard. Uh, and e-prescribing is going to be, without e-prescribing, you are not going to be able to access uh, any of the stimulus money. It's at the center of uh, President Obama's initiative for uh, electronic medical records. Um, so what are the meaningful user uh, possible criteria? Well, e-prescribing, like I mentioned, quality reporting. You got, you're going to have to be able to produce reports electronically that uh, tell the um, uh, insurance companies uh, how many, uh, what percentage of your patients are getting mammograms uh, at a particular age, uh, the, what percentage of your diabetic patients have hemoglobin A1Cs of, 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 of certain levels, uh, what, how many women uh, age 16 to 25 that are sexually active are getting their chlamydia cultures. Uh, why do I mention those specifically? Because they are already here. Um, we are, in, in essence, doing that with Blue Cross Blue Shield uh, of Rhode Island, and I'll speak a little bit about it in the, in the, in further in the presentation. Um, you're going to have to be able to connect to the health information exchange. Uh, these are going to be cloud systems, so to speak, uh, that are going to be regional, that um, all the electronic health records are going to be able to, are going to have to connect to and somehow deliver some degree of information. We already have uh, Current Care Rhode Island uh, here that it's like um, a uh, HIE, uh, but it's something that is going to be uh, uh, very important for any software. Uh, to be able to deliver that connectivity. Decision support, like Russ uh, mentioned before, the charting has to be electronic. You know, the, the uh, idea of uh, scanning uh, a written page and putting it into a PC uh, is not uh, what, uh, what is contemplated in the stimulus uh, package. And being able to sign off, being able to go on vacation and be able to transfer your information to another provider on call for someone to follow your patients or follow your labs is going to be very, very important. Um, so the Quality Counts program, 
this is our journey. Uh, how do we end up here? I mean, it's, it's not that, you know, we are the smartest bolt in the, in the Christmas tree. It's because we saw an opportunity uh, when Blue Cross was looking to test this Quality Counts program uh, where 10 practices were selected.